This is a piece I made in graduate school about five years ago. I'm super happy. I got, I've been meaning to show it again, and I'm super happy because this is a great setting. Uh, so it's a collection of about 40 to 50 medication bottles from about, I would say, 35 people. So they're all for um, mental illness, these medications. The name of the person is scratched out on the bottles so that it's anonymous, and each bottle has a note card where it lists the name of the medication and the person writes about in their words about their experience with the medication, their side effects, and their experience with mental illness. So the type of art I do is called um, social practice. And social practice is uh, art that uh, is really more about people's experiences and their everyday life and, in, and showing that in a creative way. So as somebody with an anxiety disorder, I was super interested, and I take medication for it, um, I was super interested about other people's experience because learning from other people is how I, like, I gain insight into myself. So uh, I learned about what kind of medication people take, what their experience with mental illness is, and it was like very varied all across the board, and learning about that made me feel a lot less lonely. I love being able to work at a place that takes mental health and employees health very seriously because if I need to if I'm having bad panic attacks or something and I need to take a sick day or work from home, my supervisor and my colleagues are totally understanding of that. So it's a very safe and supportive place to work. So I do a lot of different stuff. Uh, so I do things like this, but I also make drawings that look nothing like this. And my drawings are very imaginative and colorful and they have a lot of like plants, people and animals. So when I'm, and that's kind of more like my art therapy and I just do that by myself in my studio to relax and stuff. And so that is kind of very free flowing stream of consciousness, um, kind of whatever inspires me or things I like. But if I do something more that involves other people, it's a lot more, I don't want to say scientific, but a lot more methodical and planned. Um, my colleague Sean Thomas, who I think works in exhibition design or graphics, he made this amazing, it looks like a deconstructed guitar, but it has all these like audio and mechanical elements that it actually turns on with a switch he showed me. And you can like touch it and it makes all these crazy noises. Um, and it was just like so cool to get, it's like a music and visual art and sculpture all in one. And it was so cool to have him personally show me how it works and talk about it.